Akuma has different levels of power, greatly displayed in his different battles. One of his dominant stages is his infamous Oni stage. This energetic blue entity sacrifices his sanity for the sake of ultimate power, unleashing chaos and destruction. Join us in this episode as we unveil the mystery behind the ultimate power of Akuma. What was the inspiration for Oni? Why was Oni created? Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Street Fighter Verse. We will start with the concept behind Oni and its creation. As stated by fandom, Oni are lightning affiliated demons that are mentioned in the Shinto religion and Asian mythology, said to be fearsome giants with fangs and horns that once terrorized and pillaged villages and travelers in ancient Japan. Shinto considers impurity and pollution as unholy states of being that demons and malevolent spirits are attracted to or even born from, while the devil, the meaning of Akuma's name, and Oni are two distant creatures in Japanese religion. The idea of Akuma becoming a demon might be considered to be fulfilled in Oni. The developers may refer to Oni as Akuma beyond Shin Akuma. Oni's full name can also be a possible nod to the Shun Gokusatsu, since Kuru means mad or violent, and Oni can mean demon or ogre. Though the character's motivations draw much more from the Shinto Oni, his visual aspects still bear significant resemblance to that of Akuma and the Buddhist Gongorikishi or Neo. His design is also evocative of beings such as Fujin and Raichin, the Shinto gods of wind and thunder respectively, as well as ancient art examples of strong warriors. Characters with similar inspirations include the Black Oni from Onimusha, Dawn of Dreams, Demise from the Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword, and Aku from the Samurai Jack series. Appears as a far more muscular and noticeably larger version of Akuma. He has dark blue skin, glowing yellow-red eyes, and glowing, spiky shoulder-length hair, fangs and short protrusions on his forehead, resembling growing horns. The top half of his gi has been blown off by the amount of dark ki he emanates, showing off his musculature. The prayer beads that were once around his neck now float about disconnected around his body. He also has claws on his fingers and toes, and no longer wears sandals. His voice also sounds much more demonic. While Akuma has a blood-red aura, Ani possesses a deep blue aura. When using fierce attacks or powerful physical attacks of any kind, his arms and legs glow a superheated color. While it is difficult to spot, the kanji of heaven also appears on his back during the same animations, seemingly having branded itself on his back. Oni has discarded his remaining humanity, saying that it is of no use to evil incarnate. His identity as Akuma and his prominent moral code as a warrior, he will fight anyone to the death, regardless of conditions, rather than seeking out worthy opponents to fight in a fair match. His presence is such that certain characters even refer to him as a god in their wind quotes. In addition, he now talks in the third person more than usual, although sometimes he will talk in complete sentences. He also restrains some of Akuma's personality traits. Despite calling himself evil incarnate, he still shows strong hostility towards villains such as Seth or M. Bison, who Akuma despises for taking shortcuts to attain their power. He is also visibly pleased to see Ryu given to the Satsu no Hado based on his pre-boss match dialogue with evil Ryu. In Akuma Street Fighter Tekken ending, he faces a Pandora version of Oni, which he aptly refers to as nothing but a shadow. The Oni that came from Pandora's box was Pandora's energy responding to Akuma's desire for a battle that will cost him his life. In Street Fighter 4, in his intro, his roar echoes throughout the night. Instantly after, his presence caused the explosion of a nearby tree and the death of a bird. He then looks up and proclaims that he is evil incarnate. In his ending, he stands in the center of a volcano. Then he only jumps up and chops the ground with his hand, resulting in an instant eruption that engulfs him in lava. As the lava explodes out of the volcano, Oni flies out of it unharmed, laughing manically and yelling ferociously. In Asura's wrath, after being slammed into a wall, the mantra empowers Akuma immediately as the Satsu no Hado take over his body and transform, showing that he has some semblance of control, which prompts Asura to go into his strongest form possible. And the second strongest form, Mantra Asura, Oni goes toe to toe with the wrath embodied god and starts the battle off with a misoji. The battle ends when both fighters wrestle each other while blasting through the Earth's atmosphere and crash land. 
Still struggling, the struggle lasted 500 years, still not ending, as they are reduced to their normal forms, and they are now almost statues, covered in moss. Both suddenly start to move, as then both fighters throw a punch to each other's faces, ending the episode in a cliffhanger. Oni also appears in Dena's mobile RPG, Blood Brothers 2. Akuma is a cold and extremely powerful warrior, whose sole reason for being is to hone his fighting skills by battling and destroying strong foes. He rarely displays any sign of emotions or humanity, and rarely smiles. As a righteous calling, or as an afterthought of conquering a major adversary, he will not engage in battle against helpless people. Akuma usually wears a dark colored G, with the sleeves removed, similar to Ken and Ryu. He has red hair with a top knot, sharp pointed teeth, and is often barefooted, though some games have him wearing brown sandals. Depending on the game or piece of art, he either wears a black belt at his waist or a length of rope. Over his hands, he either wears brown training gauntlets or wraps his hands with rope as well. He has tan skin and crimson eyes and wears his deceased master prayer beads around his neck. When fighting another fighter, Akuma rarely resorts to his true strength. He only fights warriors he deems worthy or those he believes have the potential to become such. Akuma fought Ryu in Street Fighter Alpha 2 just to gain insight into Ryu's abilities. Shin Akuma known in Japan as Shin Goki, appeared in Street Fighter Alpha 2 as a hidden boss. This is the form Akuma takes when he becomes almost one with the Satsui no Hado, although he does not lose his humanity in doing so. His personality remains more or less the same as the original. Essentially, he is Akuma using the fullest extent of his power. However, he is more competitive in battle and less merciful when he is fighting a strong warrior. He will only fight at his true potential when he has found an equal to do battle with. The two versions operate very similarly, but Shin Akuma is faster, deals more damage and can throw two Sanku Hadokens at once. His special moves also tend to have more priority and recovery compared to the playable version. Also, his Shin Gokusatsu is much faster and travels farther, making it harder to evade and in some instances inflicts more damage. In some games, Shin Akuma also has extremely powerful specials as well. Shin Akuma's overall style revolves around completely overwhelming the opponent. He already adds more on top that he can already do as his normal state and with practically no recovery between his attacks, he can string together more devastating cross-up attacks and combos that he can't do as his regular self. Shin Akuma is not to be taken lightly, since he can do severe damage to a careless player or the opponent. Another version of Akuma is Cyber Akuma, mechanically enhanced by Apocalypse. Cyber Akuma's upgrades include a mechanical right arm, dub booster rocket, metal wings, and four extra arms that are only seen in one of his win poses. His first appearance was in Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter as the final boss. Because of Apocalypse's control over him, Cyber Akuma's personality is vastly different from that of the original Akuma's, being more surreal. This is the mecha version of Akuma called Zero Akuma. Zero Akuma is an extremely powerful mech based on Akuma, featured in the game Cyberbot's Full Metal Madness. It featured a unique play style, similar to Street Fighter's Akuma, as well as a unique life bar design. Zero Akuma's powers and abilities are flight, weapon mastery, energy manipulation and energy projection, martial arts, force field creation, and explosion manipulation. So what did you like about Oni? Let us know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new theories and info. Thank you for watching. This has been your Street Fighter host. Welcome to the center stage. Discord server. There you can talk with us, chat about current events going on in Street Fighter, information, theories, and lore. We'll leave the link in the description box below. We want to thank everyone for tuning in and becoming part of the Street Fighter community. We want to thank you for your positive comments towards our channel because it only habilitates us to grow even more. From the Street Fighterverse crew, we thank you.